Good morning. Suggestions? Which path to take? Hmm. We mustn't get lost. This will be fun. Right you are. On my way. Leave it to me. I will deliver. Come along. I will deliver. Into the surf. Right there? This will be fun. I agree. On my way. We mustn't get lost. Careful not to burn. Breathe deep. Hmm. We mustn't get lost. Into the surf. Ready! We mustn't get lost! Onward. Yes. Into the surf. The unknown beckons. Who's next?
I will deliver. Which path to take? I agree. Right there? Morning. Maybe this way. Ready. Which path to take? Good morning. Come along. Into the surf. Careful not to burn. To take. Good morning. We mustn't get lost. Into the surf. Hmm. Maybe this way. We mustn't get lost. Good morning. Into the surf. The unknown beckons. Right you are. I agree. Suggestions? All right, here's our second match for the day. We're taking on a Japanese opponent here with Felix, and we're gonna go with okay, the save ball. Cool. I was trying to get Asker on this team so we could score a little bit higher, but I feel like um, hmm, stone terrain is kind of necessary, so this is what it is. Um, I don't know, lately I've been kind of like concerned about scoring, primarily because of just the craziness I've been doing on defense for light and dark season, so it's, it's uh, a little bit, it's got me a little on edge, <laughs> but let's see how this one pans out. Uh, we should be okay. We got a uh, shield fighter. Um, yeah, as long as we uh, are able to take care of Felix, we should be good to go here. Um, a lot of like really interesting um, choices here, like the uh, uh, infantry pulse on um, Robin here to get Felix to where he needs to be is an interesting choice. 
Um, and then just look at this Felix, man. Man went all out. <laughs> like, to be fair, I probably could have been like plus five myself. Like, if I didn't fodder all of the copies that I got for, uh, I think this C skill, Endless Tempest, is fantastic, actually. Especially on melee flyers, I think it's really, really good. So that was one of the main pickups for me, and uh, as well as the Excel. Um, but yeah, I really want, I really wanted to go back in on the banner <laughs> to get some more copies of Endless Tempest because I think it's a really good skill. Flyers don't get access to lulls, so just being able to put that on there and get the extra movement I think is a great pickup. Um, and then we got all of the familiar um, options here. No either. one, literally no one I don't believe is going to be running <laughs> Sothis. Uh, this season. I mean, even if you gave her high dragon wall, she's l literally just such a detriment to your team. You it's might as well just run brave corn, uh, male corn instead of wasting your fodder and giving it to so this She's so bad. Uh, desperately needs a re refine, in my opinion. Maybe if they gave her the arcane fellstone, um, uh, that's actually an interesting choice. I wonder how she performs with the arcane fellstone. But yeah, that is um, a dud if I've ever seen one. Um, but yeah, we gotta tank this. Um, priority here is to avoid the the uh, the low key lane. Um, hmm. But in thinking about it, Makaya also pretty much does the exact same thing as Loki in terms of debuffs. So there's really no avoiding, even though you know. Hmm. Well, that sucks. <laughs> um, yeah, they do basically the same thing in terms of the debuffs that they provide. Um, and then also there's Sabotage there from uh, Brave Robin, uh, who I, I'm just like not high on. Um, I, I keep saying that I, I don't particularly like her outside of summoner duels, but I gotta go up one. Um, I'm outside of the range of the enemy team here. And the dance won't happen because Azura is positioned in a wonderful spot. Like that harmonic Azura, I feel like was such a wasted... Um, No, I was going to say wasted peering, but the peering isn't the problem. The problem is Let the fact that they are uh, they're a ranged oh. cav um, with like relatively high time? attack. Uh, that's the problem with that harmonic Azura. They choose to attack they instead of dance um, constantly, and there's really no like there's it's no way to, to unless you're going to unequip their weapon or just give them like the base weapon that that they have Let's available. Begin the one that does like yeah. I, I don't remember what it's called but it was like one of the first ones and it did like four it had four might or something but even then they would still attack so i really didn't know how to solve that problem so i ended up just benching them because they just kept attacking all the time and it was so annoying but felix should be able to outspeed us here i wouldn't be surprised if he does but the shield fighter should trigger um there we go, 77 times two because of the lull and the sabotage and all the discord debuffs uh, 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 that shouldn't happen. All oh, right. <laughs> oh, I forgot to re-equip the re-equip the um or re-engage the Marth ring on uh, Grima there. That is a thousand percent my bad. Um, I was using it for other purposes, but I forgot to put it back on her. Because she's running Pavis, so it's only natural that she needs the Marth ring. Oh man, that's a huge throw, actually. Um, jeez. Because we don't, we wouldn't have been bothered. I'm not doubling sabotage Discord. That's a really good combination of debuffs that he has here. Um, Discord plus sabotage ensures that the stat swings. Because I should be having more stats here than the enemy but those two diff i should be able to always double but those two debuffs together make it so that it doesn't work a hundred percent in my favor and one of the things that i especially enjoy is that um like shes here is doing nothing let's see if i can get a dance um is that um still no hush spectrum doesn't affect defensive specials i think that is fantastic in terms of how they uh put that together because that works out spectacularly in my favor but ggs i got got here all right, uh, we're going to take on Symbios. Yeah, I think that's what it is. And we're going to Gale Force. I plan to Gale Force a ton this week because 
Uh, as you can see here, I got Fia on the team and also Asker, which means that I score better with this team. Um, again, I, I'm kind of like this week in particular because the defense mythics are so bad. So I got to make sure that I get the most out of my score um, if possible. And also, there's no reason for me to run air that much because she doesn't unlock the sixth slot. If she and they make it so like older mythics unlock the sixth slot as well, then that would make it more viable to run air. But currently, that is not an option. So I can't swap out any of the units here just to get air into the team who does nothing. So, uh, well, maybe if you have her highly invested, I guess she does stuff. But mine is like plus one plus two maybe and uh yeah she's just not that good so yep asker is here um <laughs> i i could potentially get the uh triangle attack off here on this team if i like really set it up but loki like a lot of times so far at least i think she'll be a constant um for this week at least um i didn't realize like how much of a like pain it was um, to try to run catcher ball or a, a catcher ball offense, triangle attack, dual strike offense into Loki um, because she just kind of like ruins the whole thing. <laughs> like that's one thing that I didn't think about and I kind of feel like it's pretty decent counterbalance uh, in terms of it being an option like because that's totally where you need to go now in terms of like engaging into a lot of these bulky defenses with shield fighter. Um, the only other the only other alternative would have been to run um, Gremlin. Um, man, I forgot her name. <laughs> but Gremlin, I I just keep remembering her as Gremlin. Yeah, but that would have been the only other option to negate the triangle attack effects. So I love the fact that Loki can actually just do that, which I completely just forgot about that she could, you know remove that status effect and the thing is you're getting at least minimum three Which effects uh from catria um Come along. catria cordelia and this one so it's typically gonna be like removed uh, which is going to make it kind of... Well, I guess with Cordelia, Dual Strike only requires two units. Um, but the adjacency condition might be a bit of a problem. Whereas Triangle You're Attack is a little bit more flexible. So I guess with um, Dual Strike, you'll, you'll probably be in a little bit of a better place. Because you only need two people to have it. Whereas for Triangle Attack, you need three. So I guess that works out in your favor in that regards. But Loki's a really good tech option in terms of countering... Uh, that as a potential option for um, enemies breaking through your defense. So I didn't, I completely forgot that she could do that. So I think like she just gains value in that regard or she, she well, she already had it, but she, her value increases in that regard. So I really, really like that. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to, I kind of want to pin Azura, but then also I need, <laughs> The thing about Wings of Mercy plays is that you need to take damage, either that or you run Fury, and I really don't like Fury, um, I, I dislike chip damage, um, yeah, I really dislike it, so either I'm gonna have to step on one of these traps, or bank on taking some damage from Loki and seeing how much that does, but it doesn't look like it's gonna be enough, um, so at least, I'm, at, le at least I'll get Peony to be able to warp in, but I won't be able to get Thea's warp in, which is a problem because she has Gale Force and also Asker has Gale Force. This is really like a Wings of Mercy, Wings of Mercy three situation, and there's on, only so much of that to go around. So, yeah, um, Wings of Mercy two is still great, but it's situations like these that you would actually need that extra damage. Um, I'm not gonna give Edelgard Fury. Um, I mean, I could at least put it in her C slot, but because I've removed one of her uh the hp seal i feel like she needs it's it's more it's to her benefit to have the because fury is just six six times three is 18 that's not enough to get her past 50 percent so it, it wouldn't make any sense i'd have to change her a skill as well and i'm not gonna do that so hmm given resonance the golvig might actually be a smart idea since I want to meet that condition for this specific um, week. Hmm. Hmm. 
and I guess I can keep it around for the long run. I'd, I would already be in the Wings of Mercy range if I had done that. The problem is, is that sometimes, again, chip damage can backfire. And I get the flat 7 true damage from the Kanto, but then also I rarely actually use the Kanto for anything beneficial, so... Uh, I don't know, that's a thought. If you want to copy this, you probably could do that. I don't want to unlock the team also, because it's going to require a lot of... Is this the right one? I don't know, when it's back here, it's kind of like... Not... I don't know which one of these would make sense, but I'm going to step on this one. Uh, it feels like... Okay, alright, never mind. <laughs> I was hoping to get some extra Wings of Mercy stuff going there, if I was able to get the get, guess the right trap, but... Uh, I think we have enough here... Oh, she's a duo, so I can't leave her. I have to take her out. Okay. All right, that's fine. I think we have enough here to clear the map. It's, it's totally uh, okay. I, I have enough actions to clear this. Yeah. But yeah, Resonance, if you want to copy this team, it's probably a good idea. Um, because it would give you that extra chip, chip damage instead of going with... I guess Fury is cheaper, so... <laughs> Uh, I guess that is all, always going to be a play, but then you lose that on the flame t uh, flame terrain, which again, also since I have Winter Edelgard here, it might not be a hundred percent necessary. I don't know, man. There's just so many options that, and then also I want Golvik to be able to take out Felixes, so I don't know. But for now, this is what it is. I also, it's kind of crazy how Joel, I, I peeped it, I peeped it in Tacho's video. It's crazy how Joel was running a corner ball after he himself was like, I hate this defense type, this defense archetype. That's really crazy. Uh, <laughs> big call out there for Joel being a little bit um, toxic. <laughs> but I, I don't blame him, man. It's, it's a really powerful defense archetype currently, but... I think after this week, everyone will ha already have it figured out. I already have it figured out in terms of how to get past it for both seasons. I don't even have to... Luckily, I don't even have to re-bless any of my units to make it work. So lost. it's not that big of a deal. Right there? Um, and also, that banner that they dropped recently with the, uh, the imitation double special heroes, it literally gave you some of the tools that you would be able to use to get through. Uh, at least from melee range, right, um, that defensive archetype. One of the things that I was considering was giving Brash Assault 4 to um, Brave Violet to see if she could improve her matchups against Fjorm. Um, but it doesn't work <laughs> as well as I would have liked it to. I mean, if she quads, ultimately she really just needs to get the triangle attack off. I think what they might do is either give us an emblem ring that can give you the potent right follow-up, uh, from Lin, I 100% I, I think Lin is the next going to be the next emblem. I can't see. It's either Lin or I, I don't deliver. think it's going to be Sigurd. Into the surf. I don't think it's going to be Sigurd yet. Which I think it's see. definitely going to what Blue Bow. Yeah, Blue Bow. Blue Bow Lin. I think it's going to be the next emblem hero, and she'll have a potent follow up. I, I think that's burn. what she'll be able to do or provide oh as her emblem effect. Yes. I could be wrong. I mean, by the time you've seen this, um, you, you would have already known if I'm wrong or right. But I think that's what uh, she'll probably provide. I'm, 100 I'm really sure that it's going to be late. But that's it. Um, we cleared all our matches for today. Um, I'm going to play some more Ponza Loki. GG's. See you in the next one.